Next news out of Pakistan. Outrage as Pakistan sentences academic to death for blasphemy. 33-year-old Junayed Hafiz has spent uh, many years in prison since 2013 when he was first accused of blasphemy um, by, by saying things on Facebook that were blasphemous. So in, in Pakistan, when somebody accuses you of blasphemy, there's typically no proof that needs to be shown, right? Uh, in this case, he was teaching and his students said that that they researched, look, he's a blasphemer. Um, and, and they tried saying other things as well to, to connect him to, to being a blasphemer. So he was thrown in jail. Uh, while in jail, he asked to be in solitary confinement because he was afraid that guards or other um, inmates were going to kill him or someone was going to come in and kill him. So since 2016, he's been sitting by himself all alone, right? Mm. Um, and now the the court said that he shall be hanged by the neck till his death, subject to its confirmation by the Honorable High Court, um, following his sentencing on Saturday. So... Uh, there, here's here's the deal for for y'all y'all who don't know this has been so scary because we've had a few people that that I've known face this issue in Pakistan. If you're accused, that's it. Okay, you go to jail. Not only that, but no one wants to defend you. No one. It doesn't matter. You can sit there and shout that you're innocent. Uh, you know, Haf Mr. Hafiz here said that his students set him up that he never committed blasphemy ever. Um, that that very all could be true. But the the problem is, is any lawyer who wants to go and defend him now is putting his life on the line. Yeah. If he gets this guy out, then everybody, you know, the 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 mass angry crowd is going to come and kill him or kill him and his family. Um, the judge who lets him get out or or escape on this, he is next. Uh, this guy will certainly be murdered. Uh, when, upon his release. So nobody wants to be the lawyer for this. Nobody wants to be the judge for this, especially if the lawyer can somehow get him off. The, the entire justice system in Pakistan has been taken hostage by mob. Like, even if the even if there were people in the justice system that want to let people go and not punish them for blasphemy or nonsense like that, they 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 are basic they are putting their lives at risk like there was a politician in Pakistan that simp defended um you know Aisha Bibi I think um was it her or was it someone else yeah and he was killed by his own bodyguard and his bodyguard uh turn uh, was sentenced to death for killing a politician but he was turned into a saint in Pakistan like a, you know, go look at the images and the videos of the number of people that came to celebrate him. It's like I've it's it's hundreds of as as unbelievable. Like even so many Pakistanis were shocked. So like a guy that killed a politician for defending a blasphemer was turned into a saint. Like was turned like I'm using that metaphorically, but it was celebrated in Pakistan by hundreds of thousands of people. I've never seen so many people coming out in the streets. I've never seen images like that. Uh, it was crazy. It's very sc it's scary. Like uh, Pakistan is one of those countries countries where the people are scarier than the government, right? So when you look at Iran or Saudi Arabia, it's the government that is scary, right? When you look at, I mean, I'm not saying Pakistan's government is great. It's not. It's, it's crap. It's still very Islamic. But in Pakistan, the people that, the, again, not all, hashtag not all, because there are a lot of atheists and liberals that are being taken, that are, I think there are hostages in Pakistan as well. But the vast majority of, you know, again, I'm not going to say vast majority, a, a big chunk of people uh, there are are crazy like they will they will put their they will risk their own lives to bring justice right like there was this teacher that said something that one of the students that didn't like in pakistan i saw the video this the, the student just got up and killed the teacher and he, he was arrested he was like yeah i had to do my duty he insulted the prophet and he was he was willing to go to jail and everything for that it's so scary and this guy this guy is that that has just been sentenced to death uh, in Pakistan, he's this guy was a hero. Like this guy would try to bring this Pakistani academic. He tried to bring liberal values, secular values to to Pakistan to the academic world, 
and he w he was you know he was taking a lot of risk for doing that and he was opposed all the time and this is why a lot of people um, had it in for him and it's so sad that the defense is that oh you can't prove that he could, that he um, you know blasphemed that he insulted Muhammad or whatever that's that's the defense it's sort of like who cares right that shouldn't even be the law but i understand that you cannot make that argument right now because obviously that's the law that he should be in pakistan i mean that would be a much more difficult thing to tackle right now because to be to be fair there is no proof actually yet that he actually committed blasphemy but he said he got sentenced to death anyways um and but Okay, so here's the here's the thing that you have to be careful. I, I'm gonna say this, but I don't want people to get too hopeful. Okay, there hasn't been a case where actually the death sentence was carried, right, in Pakistan. Like it's you, people that die for blasphemy in Pakistan. It's usually because of the mob, not because of the government. So given that even previous death cases, death death sentences were not carried like they were overturned at some point a lot of people saying this death sentence this death sentence will, will not get carried and he will probably uh, not be pun uh, killed the problem is that I don't want people to be too comfortable with this because the reason why the other death sentences were not carried is because of all the backlash from people right so if you just let this go like hey it's not gonna get carried this might end up being the first case that it does get carried because the other cases that didn't get carried is because people actually did activism and tried to save the people that one thing so don't just sit back and be like uh we don't need to bring attention to this because it's not gonna get carried second of all even if it doesn't get carried this guy is still in, has been in prison for how many years now four years right and you know but just by himself and even if the death sentence doesn't go through he might just stay there for a whole bunch of more years i mean this is not fair this guy is being rotting in prison for his ideas which is so sad so again pakistan like really pakistan what the hell pakistan um i i really hate what's happening to pakistan again the this is why the atheist activists and secular activists in Pakistan um, to me are w some of the most bravest people I ever met you know because it's one thing to have the government uh, coming after you but for you to have be having to worry about your neighbor your friends that's a I would be parent if I was an atheist in Pakistan I would be paranoid 24 7 I would be stressed out I feel so bad and I I, I really you know admire the, the people that with all this all this in their way they're still fighting in Pakistan these people are heroes um, anyways let me see what the top comment is Ryan is saying this is how Pakistan stays in the past yep anyways Ali did you want to add anything to that nope. no okay. atheists are under attack in many places if they were Christians their voices would be heard if they were Jews their voices would be heard if they were Muslims their voices would be heard but they are atheists, and not many seem to be listening. Let's make it difficult for them to ignore us. We have built a global community, and now we are tearing down geographic, cultural, and language barriers so we can find each other and support each other. In the last decade, we have built the largest atheist community in the world. Now we are doing the same in other languages. With your help, we have started Atheist Republic in Persian and Arabic. انضميت مؤخرا لأسرة Atheist Republic وحيصير عندي بودكاست باللغة العربية. As we grow, we can dedicate more time, staff, and resources to start doing the same in Spanish, Portuguese, Malay, Bengali, Urdu, Hindi, and other languages. We are providing community, support, informative content, and amplifying the voices of those who need protection, especially in countries where people feel isolated simply for their lack of belief. We want to be there for them, and we are only getting started. Help us get there. Check in the description for ways you can support our projects.